guys, UB8 Gaming here, and today we're going to be making our own skin for Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is going to be a, a tutorial on how to make your own skin and add it to the truck that you want. First of all, I'm going to ask you to, to download three things. You're going to need to download Euro Truck Simulator Studio. That's the most easiest way to add the skin to the truck and trailers. Um, you can get this on Euro Truck Simulator 2 Studio. You can just search it in Google and it will come up. I will leave the link in the description for that. Um, you're going to need the template for the trucks. As you see here, if I go into these templates, I've got all the trucks here. If you go into Scania, we've got all the different Scania's um, templates and stuff. And this is where you add your name, logos and stuff like that to it, each panel. Um, let's back out of that quickly. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to leave you three links in the, in the description. That's going to be for Euro Truck Simulator Studio templates for the Scania Streamline and all truck templates. Today we're going to be using um, Photoshop but you can use Paint.net, GIMP, you can use pretty much uh, any uh, software you like to edit these templates but I find it easier using Photoshop. So let's open one of them in Photoshop now. Let's go to desktop. Uh, things for skin so let's open up the template for the um, Scania streamline I'm going to do the top line cab that's, that's the biggest one so open that in whatever software you're using as you see here you've got the templates for the trucks you've got the side of the trucks up here you've got the, um, the fender bits behind the cab the bumpers the wheel arches the side skirts you've got the back of the truck here and this top bit here will be the front of the cab this front bit here where the light box normally goes so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add all your text into these templates like so I'll just do UB8 Gaming for now this is just going to be a quick sample guys so let's just make that into size 72 we drag this over to here. If you want your name on the front of the top of the truck, you're going to want to make sure you put your name backwards, if that makes sense. Let's just spin that around by 180. So you're going to want to make it backwards like so. So if I just put that UB8 game in here on this top bit here, and this top little section here, that's going to be the front of the, of the truck at the top where the light box normally goes. So right now let's just add some stripes on the side skirts and stuff like that. It's just going to be a rough, a rough um, tutorial to show you how to do it and stuff, guys. Let's just say you wanted to put some lines on it on, on the side skirt. You can just go like that. Obviously, you guys can take your time and get it perfect. Let's just cut off the bottom of that so it don't show. There you go. Now we can just simply duplicate them layers duplicate yes drag it across some like so drag it across duplicate okay drag it across it's just gonna be rough a rough uh, example guys like so so that could be on the side skirt so, so we've got the name on the front we've done a bit on a bit, bit on the side skirt there um I'm not gonna do the other side skirt but this is just a rough a rough sample of how how you can do it let's put um let's duplicate that layer say you wanted to put something on the side of the trucks on the top of top of the cab on the side spin it back round so it's normal and then we can just simply whack that there like so as I say it's just going to be rough a rough uh, a rough example guys let's duplicate that uh, if you hold shift and drag it across you'll keep it at, at the same height as the other one 
So that's that. You can even add add a couple of um, stripes to the bumper if you wanted to. Like so. And then we can just dupe that and put a couple more stripes on it. Like so. Drag this across. Drag this across to here. So there you have it guys. Obviously you can add more, more logos and all that good stuff to the actual truck. What I normally do on this back bit, you can even add uh, open recent UB8 file open oh. uh, open recent UB8 gaming you can even drag your YouTube logo, logo onto it if you wanted to to unlock the fucking thing so you can drag this over here like so and you can even put this on the back of the truck if you wanted to there like that. So once you've got all your skin laid out how you want it to be laid out, you're going to want to scroll down on the layers and you're going to want to cancel out the um, background and then you're going to want to make a new layer down the bottom here. Right click that layer and flatten image. Flatten image, OK. There you go. So now that's how it's going to look like. Now you're going to want to save it as a PNG. Remember where you save it because you have to open this in um, let's open this in the Euro Truck Simulator Studio. So once you've done that, find where you want to save it. I'll put this in skins, like so. Make sure it's on PNG. Save. Okay. So once that's saved, you're going to now want to open up Euro Truck Simulator Studio. I've moved it into a different box, so it wouldn't open in. Open that up. Let it run. So right, once that's open guys, what you're going to, want to, going to want to do is you're going to want to find the truck that you just edited. In, in my case, it's the Scania Streamline. At the top here where it says base truck skin properties, truck skin, skin mask, workshop item. You're going to want to go to skin properties. Name your skin. It don't, it don't really matter what, what you call it. I'll just call it test skin tutorial 1. And then skin internal name just call it test skin one two it doesn't really matter which you call these but in this second name you can't have spaces in the skin type I've, i um, tend to use airbrush and then down here is the base color of the truck of the truck so i'll put white like so And I like white trucks as well. White trucks and black right and looks quite smart guys. So if I was you, I'll stick to that as well. So and then once you've done that, you're going to, you're going to want to come over to truck skin. Browse for the skin you just made. In my case, it's this one here. Open it up and you see the skin in the um, window here in the preview window. Then what you want to do is guys, go to workshop icon and just click this use default. Once you've done that, you can export the mod. At the top, it says export. Wait for that to load up like this. Make sure it says save type S SCS file because this is going to be your mod for the truck and paint skin. So, if I was you, I'd go to your truck simulator in your documents mod and then name this a name that you're going to remember. So, I put test skin for tutorial save. So, now that's saved to your your truck simulator to mod folder you can close with this if you want to let me just launch up the game so once you get in game guys you're going to want to go to your mod manager you're going, going to want to find the mod that you, the, the mod skin that you just made here here it says here test skin for tutorial click on that enable it I'm just um setting my priority for the maps to be first and then the skins I don't, I don't know if, if it really matters but I don't want to mess up pro mods and rush them up map 
attack. So once that's in the activated mod, just click confirm continue. Continue into game. Once I get in game guys, I will show you what the skin looks like. So right now that I'm in game guys and I've got the mod enabled, as you see here, um, I have actually got a truck already. A Mercedes that's got my uh, logos on it. But let's just show you the one that we just made now. So if you go to Scania by truck by online, I'm pretty sure you can just add this to the truck set you got already. But if I go to the Scania Streamline top, customize, go to the paint, paint. So right now that like we're in the paint bit, guys, of the uh, Scania top line, if we scroll down, we should be able to find the skins. So as you see here, we've got quite a few different skins, but some of these are for different trucks, and some of them are just trial and error. This is the one one we just made a minute ago, as you see here. It's got all our logos on it, which is pretty cool. Obviously, it is tidy up to you on what you do to your own skin but this is just a quick tutorial showing you how to make your skin and how to get it in game I hope this has helped you guys if it has be sure to hit that like button till next time peace out